Hello fellow language learners, Big Bong here and welcome to another review. If you're looking for an app to connect you with groups of other language lovers, stop right there because I have the perfect one for you. It's called Hi Local and it's pretty new so there aren't that many people yet, but it's growing every day and I believe in its potential so I encourage you to join the community. Let me start by saying that it's totally free and it looks like it's gonna be for a while, but just to be sure you should get in before they start putting payments in there. You can get it from the Apple Store or Google Play and the main concept of this app is to gather people around virtual tables, pretty much like you would physically in a language exchange cafe meetup. Now I believe finding language buddies is a very important part of becoming fluent in any language, but unfortunately I've heard a lot of complaints from users on other apps who felt harassed by people who behaved inappropriately. Don't get me wrong, it's totally possible to fall in love and find someone online no matter the platform, but I'd like to emphasize on the fact that it should be mutual and consensual. But even before that, my point is that these apps were not designed for this purpose, so if that's what you're looking for, there are plenty of other options. Now, this kind of context is less likely to happen in groups, right? And that's what High Local is all about. That being said, it's also possible to have one-on-one -on -one conversation, and I'll show that to you in a bit. First of all, you must be referred it's a password protected app and you need a code but as one of my followers you can use the code BIGBONG and start using it right away. With the same goal of creating a safe space the technical team is working very hard to prevent pervs and trolls and you can also block and report users. Alright so it's a pretty straightforward app and since it's pretty new it might change in the next few months. So as you can see I have the option to post a call. By doing that I can choose if it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one call or a group call. If you scroll down, you'll see all the group calls that are live and even further down the ones that are scheduled. A group call looks like this. And the very cool thing is that you can just join and leave whenever you feel like it, as opposed to a Zoom session that needs to be scheduled, for example. So you can see the title at the very top. Then there are six seats. People sitting around the virtual table can speak. Then you can see at the very bottom all the listeners around the table, if all the seats are taken or if you just don't want to speak. If trolls still manage to get around the table, the host of the chat room, the one with the crown, always has the option to mute other people and choose who can speak. If you tap on the search icon down in the middle, you'll have the possibility to explore cafes. To give you a little bit of context, at the beginning this app was to connect Korean speakers with English speakers, but as the community is getting bigger, there are more and more languages available. So the purpose of these cafes are to be well moderated by allowing learners of the same language, interests and levels to form groups that can meet around tables like we just saw. And I'd like to emphasize on the fact that I always attended interesting and relevant conversations to the extent that it actually became addictive. So that would be my feedback to the designers. If you guys can put a clock somewhere so that we don't lose track of time because trust me, time flies by. All right, so let me show you how one-on-one -on -one calls work. So I found a friend around the group table who accepted a call and that's what it looks like. So in this setting, you do have the amount of time. And there is also an automatic transcript, which works pretty well, but make sure to select the right language at the button. All right, let's not be too harsh because it's not perfect, but it can definitely help you sometimes understand what the other speaker says. So here we go. 여보세요? 여보세요? 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. 아, 네, 안녕하세요, 반가워요. 비공개라고 해요, 잘 부탁드릴게요. 반가워요. 어느 나라 사람이에요? I'm from South Korea. 아, 그 빅봉님은요? 아, 좀 복잡한데 저 프랑스하고 일본 혼혈이지만 지금 캐나다에 살고 있어요. 아, 와 되게 복잡하네요. <웃음> <웃음> 재미가 있어요? Well, I used to make desserts as a hobby. But these days I don't want to wash the dishes. So right. <웃음> And I like reading books, but not only just sometimes and doing puzzles sometimes as well. And these days, high local is becoming kind of my hobby. Mm -hmm. Bikbong님은요? 취미 있으세요? 음, 실은 노래하는 걸 아주 좋아하지만 유감스럽게도 잘 못해요. 아, 뭐 노래 하나 불러주실 수 있으세요? 아, 알겠어요. <웃음> 보여줄게요. 찬 바람이 조금씩 불어오면 짝이더라 긴 하루를 보내고 집에 들어가는 길에 네 생각이 문득 나더라 어디야 지금 뭐해 에일린 씨 지금 뭐 하고 있어요? 지금 듣고 있었어요. <웃음> Thank you so much for listening. No way, really. 
Yeah, it's a beautiful one. I love looking at the stars too, so. But your English is, is really good. When did you start learning it? Uh, I learned English when I was nine for the first time. And that means I've been studying English for about more than 12 years. Oh, wow. But honestly, I just don't feel like the English class I took from school didn't help that much for me. So I would say I started to learn English pretty properly or four years ago. Okay, okay. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Can you say that uh, High Local helps you improve? Yeah, it helped a lot, not only improving language skills, but also getting used to the environments that speaking English. For me, it's tough to get opportunities to speak English because I'm living in the countryside. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm an introvert and I've never met people through an app like this before. So, at first, when I started to use this app, I got nervous so much mm. when I joining a group table. Mm. But the community of this app is so good. So, a lot of people encouraged me whenever I said, Oh, I don't have confidence in my English. Sorry, my English is so bad. Then they talked slowly for me to understand easily. So, I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I guess I'll see you around. In the last tab, you've got your profile, in which you can include a brief description of yourself, and here you can also see that it works pretty much like a social media with followers and people you're following. Those I'm following are either people I had fun speaking with around the table, or actual teachers. And in fact, I heard that the founders of the app would like to bring more teachers to give lessons. Then you have the amount of time spent on the app in minutes. I have a few hundreds, but there are people who spent more than 10,000 minutes. In the settings, you can change your language. Then down below, you have the transcripts of all your calls. You remember it was uh, writing everything and it's kept there. So that's about it, guys. Again, I believe that the most important thing to efficiently learn language is to have fun. And that's what this app is all about, having fun in a safe environment. So make sure to use my code BIGBONG and I'll see you there. Bye.